Okay, we're we really not going to take things down a little bit now. Uh, again, we did this last time we played here, but uh, perhaps you won't remember it. Perhaps we won't remember it. <laughs> this is another one. <laughs> this is another song that I wrote by myself. Sorry about this. Uh, and it came about because uh, I did an interview with a guitar-related magazine, and the guy asked me about my guitar technique. And uh, if you've got any, if we've got any guitarists in the house, you know that I don't really have a technique. I'm not that sort of player. I just play from the heart. So what I actually said to him was, uh, I just try and get my heart to tell my guitar what to do and hope for the best. Uh, and which is, that's the truth. Uh, but as I said it, I thought, that's a good title for a song, hope for the best. So, uh, I'll put my pajama on. <laughs> so I, uh, <laughs> I went into my little studio and I wrote this song. But there's a bit in the middle, when I was writing this, I remembered something that happened when I was about 11 years old. Uh, I'm from Bradford in Yorkshire, and uh, I got on the bus from Bradford to Leeds because Leeds was the only place in the uh, early 60s where there was a proper guitar shop. And I saw my first Fender Stratocaster, uh, and I think that that uh, kind of changed everything in my life, really. Just like, seeing it in that shop window, it sounds a bit daft, really, but it did. It changed everything for me. I knew what I wanted to be, uh, but I had to get a guitar first and learn how to play. <laughs> so here we go, hope for the best. I was like this. Two, three, <laughs>